Hey guys, welcome back to The Bright Side. Macy here, The Bright Side Girl. And today I'm gonna to share with you how to get audiobooks. So this is just gonna be a video on literally how to purchase, find, and get audiobooks for free, money, whatever. I'm not going to talk about the ways I listen to them or tips and tricks to listen to them or how to get through more. I'm gonna do a separate video on that, but this is all gonna be about like finding and buying audiobooks. So we're going to start off with section number one, and that is how to purchase physical audiobooks. So if you are a person that likes to have a physical copy of your audiobooks in like CD format, that just makes you feel better to have it that way, then the best way to get those is obviously to buy them. You can buy them at Walmart, Target, Costco. Uh, Amazon, like so many different places. Obviously, this is going to be the most expensive way for you to get audiobooks, but if you don't listen to very many or if you like having that physical copy, then this is probably the way to go. They're going to be anywhere between $20 and $80 for the audiobooks. Um, very, very, very expensive. <laughs> but of course, you can also find them used on Amazon, eBay, and I'm sure a lot of other places as well where they will deliver the used audiobooks to you and they're in really good condition. You can also check places like Book Off or Half Price Books, used bookstores and things like that. They'll also have them. Check your local library if they happen to have used bookstores like mine do because they'll be extremely cheap there and I've really found some really great ones. Um, I haven't purchased them just because I don't like to listen to audiobooks that way, but I've seen things like Harry Potter and like really common like best-selling type ones there as well. You can also check Dollar Book Fair if you have one of those or the Dollar Bookstore. There's like any place that sells books is probably going to sell audiobooks so you can check there and get them for a little bit cheaper that way if you want the physical version for purchase. The next way that you can purchase audiobooks if you don't care about owning the physical copy but you still want to own them is of course Audible. You can, I think it's $20 a month to listen to Audible and you get two audiobooks a month I believe. For me, that's still a little bit on the expensive side um, just because of I, how many audiobooks I like to listen to. You do get a digital copy of the audiobook on your computer that you can have forever every single month. So that's kind of nice if you prefer to have like an audiobook library on your computer in your digital world. You can also purchase more, but it's more expensive than doing like the subscription through Audible. You can also purchase them on iTunes and Google Play and all that kind of stuff as well and get the digital copies like put on your computer. The next way that you can purchase audiobooks is through a new service called Scribed. I've only done the free trial of Scribed just because I don't necessarily need it at the moment, but it is something that I'm considering. It's only $8.99 a month and you can listen to as many audiobooks you like. It doesn't have quite as vast of a selection as Audible, but there are a ton, so check it out before you sign up. I they do a free monthly trial as well. A supposed downside to this is that you do not own the audiobooks, so once you're done listening to them, they go back into their uh, library system, so it's kind of like borrowing from the library with um, like a monthly fee. So it's $8.99 a month that you can just like download and listen to as many audiobooks as you want. You can also get ebooks and magazines and stuff that way as well, and it is a great value for the money if you, if you don't have a lot of other options, which I'm about to talk about in a second. And I will put a link to to, um, Audible and Scribd and Overdrive and Hoopla and all that stuff down below um, so that you guys can click and check them out. So those are all of the uh, ways that you can purchase audiobooks and now if you are interested in getting audiobooks for free that's going to be this portion of the video. So again, check your local library. I've had local libraries that will actually like give you free audiobooks if you purchase the physical books or they'll have like a free audiobook bin because they get too many audiobooks, which is kind of great. You can also see if your friends will let you borrow them, which I've done this several times with friends as well. But um, my favorite ways to get free audiobooks are of course through my local library. So there are two services that I like to use at the moment I like to use Overdrive and I like to use Hoopla. There's also Libby. Personally for me when I checked out Libby which is just like a sub app of Overdrive I didn't see anything different on Libby than what I could get on Overdrive and I preferred the experience of Overdrive. I can't even explain to you why. You can check out all three of those. They are free. Not every library will be connected in so check and see because I'm in 
Southern California, we are able to get all of the apps with our libraries just because of the way that our library systems work. Most libraries will have at least one like audiobook app that they connect to and most of the time it's OverDrive. Every single library is going to have its own catalog. So I actually um, live near three local libraries that are like within 10 minutes and I just like different cities or like different libraries. So I actually have three library cards just for this county and I hooked them all up to OverDrive and only one of them hooks up to Hoopla. Only one of the cities connects to Hoopla um, because they all have different catalogs and they all have different stuff. So I'm able to find things on Hoopla that I cannot find on OverDrive and I'm able to find things on OverDrive through the different cities as well so I can put things on hold or I'm able to get them sooner. It's kind of a lot of work what I do <laughs> but I listen to a lot of audiobooks and I've kind of made like a system that works for me. So we're going to talk about Hoopla first. So Hoopla they have a smaller catalog to choose from and of course this depends on your local library as well but the catalog is available at all times. So you're only allowed with my library it's like four to six audiobooks or ebooks per month so be careful and choosy. You're only allowed to listen to four to six per month and then it like resets in the following month but they are available at all times so if you see an audiobook on there you want to listen to you just hit borrow and it will immediately like put it on your phone or your computer or wherever you want to listen to it so that's what's nice about Hoopla. So anytime I want to listen to an audiobook I always check to see if it's on Hoopla first because I can get it immediately there's no wait time. The only downside is I can only do four to six um, through there. So because of this it does not have a listen to a sample service so I always go and listen to a sample online before borrowing it because if I find out that I don't like the narrator or I can't you know, or if I'm not enjoying the first part of the book, um, I'm kind of stuck with that loan. So that counts as one of my loans for the month. And I've had it happen where I borrowed like three books and then I realized I didn't want to read any of them and then I only had three or two or three left for the month. So I hope that makes sense. So that's what's really good about Hoopla. You can also get movies on there as well. Again, smaller catalog, but a lot of times like my library gets a lot of newer things through Hoopla, um, things that have come out like more this year and stuff like that. Then Overdrive slash Libby is like the main library like audiobook ebook service and they have only like a certain number of each audiobook available so if there are you know only two copies of let's say Language of Thorns and they're both taken up then you will be put on a wait list. So you can go on a wait list for Language of Thorns. If there's nobody borrowing it then you can borrow it immediately. So a lot of times you do have to wait for audiobooks. So for my reading purposes, I kind of plan ahead. I've already got things lined up for October for my TBR list that I have requested and put on hold so that I can get them in in time, hopefully, for <laughs> that month's worth of reading. So I hope that makes sense. The wait times are usually not really bad unless it's something extremely popular, like um, Ready Player One is still kind of crazy right now. <laughs> but you can put holds on them that way. You can also suspend your hold. So like I have 10 books on hold right now and I don't want them all to come in at the same time because obviously I can't listen to them all at the same time and they are only borrowed for two weeks if you are on a hold. So what I will do is I will suspend my hold on ones I want to get to later rather than sooner. So say I want to read the graveyard book closer to Halloween and it's only like the beginning of September then I will put hold until October 22nd and then if I have come up as the number one person to hold it will keep loaning that out to other people but when I hit unsuspend and it will download it to me or my wait time will be significantly less so that way you're not getting hopefully that makes sense but that way you're not getting all of your audiobooks at the same time which I was doing in the beginning and I was like ah, I have like all these books to listen to in like two weeks so with overdrive and I think with Libby like I said once you're on hold and you they come in off the wait list you only get two weeks to listen to them and then it returns automatically so when your two weeks are up you're done you can't borrow again obviously but you might have to wait again if the audiobook is available at that moment you can actually change the setting and borrow it for 21 days which I have done several times just in advance so that way I have longer to read it and I can also if certain books are available right now I can just borrow them for the whole month and that way I have you know three weeks to get to them so that's kind of a nice feature as well. Overdrive 
drive is by far my favorite way to listen to them. I just think it's easier to switch from like computer to the app on your phone to whatever. It just it stays really good. You can pause it, you can put timers on. Um, all that kind of stuff. I do enjoy Hoopla as well, but it's been slightly more glitchy for me than Overdrive, so I really enjoy it that way. You can, of course, also borrow physical CDs from your local library, which I do on occasion because Overdrive or Hoopla will not have the audiobook, but my library will have the physical CD. Least favorite way for me to get them for free, but I will do this as well to, if it's something that I really want to listen to. I'll just pop them in my car or my computer and and listen to them that way. So those are all of the ways that you can purchase or find for free or borrow or rent or share audiobooks. I love audiobooks. I, like I said, I'll do a video on how I audiobook, like tips and tricks and ways and things that I love. Those are just all of the different ways that you can do it. Everybody has their own audiobook style and I really really enjoy it. It is a great way especially if you are a booktuber and you're needing to get through a lot of books. Some of the books I think are even better on audiobook because of the fabulous narrators. I do an audiobook wrap up every single month if you guys are interested. I'll link the playlist down below and I'll be sharing pretty soon some videos on my favorite narrators and my favorite audiobooks so stay tuned for a lot more audiobook content because I absolutely love them. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know some of your favorite audiobooks down below because I'm constantly looking for more and I will see you guys next time on the bright side. Bye!